At the very center of the Dynamics of Biblical Change course are two self-counseling projects. One of them is called a Suffering and Refuge Project, in which students use some difficult circumstance in their lives as the doorway into understanding how it is that God moves into a life, your life in particular. And the other project is called a Sin and Grace Project, uh, picking a particular failing, shortcoming, struggle. And again, same thing, a, a door into how it is that the mercies of God move into your life and start to rewrite the script. Now it's interesting that whether you start from your sufferings or your sins, you actually end up getting into the same room. It's kind of the front door and the back door into the same room because human life is characterized in its fallenness by sin and suffering. It's characterized by what the Heidelberg Catechism called, how great is my sin and misery, and then how much greater is the love of Christ. And one of the particular joys of teaching, and I've, over the years, I bet I have had the privilege of working with, I don't know, between 1,500 and 2,000 self-counseling projects. And the privilege of seeing the particular ways that God invades lives. And whether it is coming in through the door of our troubles and sorrows and heartaches, or whether it is coming through the door of our struggles and failings and sins, the same Christ meets us in exactly the places that we need meeting. And, you know, when I think of the amount of counseling I do or the number of friends I have, uh, it, it can't come close to, you might call, the, the experience of having 1,500 to 2,000 other human beings where I've been able to catch a glimpse, but, but a glimpse of something meaningful, something life rearranging, something that... Um, something that by the ongoing grace of that God will make a difference in students' lives uh, for the rest of their lives.